Well, we were gonna do some ice fishing, but there's a whole lot of popping and cracking going on out there. So we're gonna switch gears. There we go. There's one. Want to take him home and eat him? No. Yeah, I think we should take him home and eat him. We need more than this one. We'll take him home and have trout for dinner. Sound good? Yeah, oh mom. Yeah, mom. Okay. Leave him lay there. <laughs> Don't be grabbing him. No. One more, one more. What do you think we should make? We make some ceviche. Oh, I missed him. That was a good hit too. Yeah. This cold water, I like to throw it out, let it swing and drift in the current right along the bottom. It's yeah. reeling real slow. Stick. No idea what that was. It felt like a bite. That spinner is so big I can feel every thump of the blade. That was a hit. I think I missed it. No. I think that's just a little too big, bud. I'm going to switch back to the littler one. Little blue fox. Let's try that. Little blue fox zero. Go from big to small and see what they want. Yep, big to small. See which one they like better. Stay here. Look at that. He followed that right in. Let's try not to get in the water here. Nah. No, no. Leave him up there. Leave him on the bank. Leave him right there. Alright, so we got our bushcraft fillet knife from the cooking guild. We're just going to fillet these up real quick. Somebody made the comment in the last video, that, oh that knife needs sharpened. Nope, this knife is actually razor sharp. And I was just ever so gingerly trying not to cut through the spine on the last video.
or the skin. Let's not cut through the skin. Now for ceviche, we're going to take the rib bones out and then if you want to take the pin bones out, depending on how big the pin bones are, this thing just feels every last bit of bone and catches on it. Should get all the skin off. Check for pin bones. There is a, a row of pin bones, and since you're making ceviche out of it, find where they start. Just come down in beside them. Make sure you don't cut through the pin bones. Whoops, like that. just take the pin bones out. You're going to lose a little bit of meat, but not much. I need a new fillet board. This one cracked on me. And I haven't replaced it yet. We're going to take that, give it a quick rinse, and then dry it off. All right, I'm going to get to chopping, and we will probably speed this up. Once again, cooking guild knives. What, buddy? <laughs> we want little chunks. As you can see, just in the five or ten minutes it's taken me to chop this stuff up, the fish is already starting to denature and turn white. It's actually cooking in the acid. The other thing we're going to add is just a little bit of sea salt. Stir that all up and incorporate it, and then we're going to stick it in the fridge for at least an hour or two, even overnight, to let the flavors blend together. Now this has been sitting overnight, the flavors were all blended together, and you can see that the fish is actually white. 
it's not raw like sushi or sashimi, but it's not cooked. It's denatured in the acid from the lemon and lime juice. All you do then is take a chip, get a nice big scoop, and enjoy it. Now this is something different. It's really good to do with trout. It's awesome in warmer weather where the citrus and the salt really shine. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our future adventures. We have a lot of content planned coming up. We'll see you on the next one.